Russia may deceive Ukrainian forces with fake offensive, Forbes. Many experts expected the Russians to launch a major offensive on May the 9th. Early that day, Russian troops crossed the northern border of Ukraine by armored vehicles entering the Kharkiv region. Ukrainian UAVs and artillery quickly destroyed enemy weapons. According to Forbes, units of the 11th and 44th Army Corps of the Russian Federation managed to advance somewhat and take positions in the villages of Strilecha, Pilna, Krasny, Morokovets and Olenikovo. Many doubted the Russian troops crossed the border so quickly. The answer is simple. The border is a grey zone without troops and fortifications directly on the border line. The Ukrainian analytical group Frontelligence Insight reassured. It is noted that Ukraine has created a defence a few kilometres south of the border and placed troops and territorial forces behind these structures from where they can respond to the actions of the invaders along the border zone. Statements about the collapse of the defence are premature and untrue. Unlike large mechanised units, Russian lightly armoured small tactical units deployed in small villages along the border can relatively easily move into the grey zone and seize control. Analysts explain. Although there are signs that the occupiers want to strengthen their positions in this small number of border settlements, so far there is no evidence that they have gathered forces for a serious offensive against Kharkiv. Finnish analyst Johnny Askola suggested that serious progress in this area may not have been the enemy's main target. There is a possibility that this is just a deliberate deception to force the Ukrainian troops to withdraw their forces from Chasiv Yar and the cities west of Avdiivka. According to the expert, the Kharkiv maneuver of the enemy can lead to a decrease in the availability of reserves to counter Russia's main offensive in the east. As noted, the 42nd Mechanized Brigade of Ukrainian troops was the first to move forces north to strengthen the territorial troops. According to the officer of the Ukrainian army, Denis Yaroslavsky, the 57th Separate Mechanized Brigade and the 92nd Air Assault Brigade and the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence Kraken Unit also advanced to the Kharkiv front. It seems that the Russians are trying to sow panic and uncertainty in society, convincing the population of the threat that is coming across the border. Notes from intelligence insight. Thus, the Russian Federation encourages Ukraine to redeploy units to these areas and distracts from focusing on Russian strategic goals in Donbass. British Special Forces Working Against Russians in Ukraine Business Insider The head of the United States Special Operations Forces Command, Brian Fenton, suggested that British Special Forces are working in Ukraine. In an interview with the AP News Agency, the Lieutenant General spoke about plans to restructure the Green Beret units using lessons learnt from the British Special Forces in Ukraine. He said warfare is becoming more high-tech, so there may be a need to add cyber experts air force pilots or cryptologists to the squads. These ideas have arisen from lessons learnt in Ukraine, mainly through the eyes of our British special operations partners. Not only did they do this in their formations, but they realised very quickly that they needed other elements of their joint forces. Business Insider quoted him as saying, Fenton said, the British Special Forces needed advice from Royal Air Force pilots on operating drones and about naval personnel to help them understand the way a ship navigates in the Black Sea. The British Ministry of Defence declined to comment to Business Insider on these words. It is a long-standing policy of successive governments not to comment on the activities of British Special Forces, they replied. The journalists reminded that the United Kingdom's Special Forces consist of several elite units, which include the Special Air Service, Special Boat Service, Special Reconnaissance Regiment, Special Forces Support Group, 18th Communications Regiment and Joint Air Wing. The Royal Marines, Commandos and Ranger Regiment also include forces capable of special operations. In April 2022, Ukrainian commanders told The Times that British Special Forces were training Ukrainian recruits to operate British NLAW anti-tank missiles. A senior European defence official told the Financial Times in February, everyone knows there are Western Special Forces in Ukraine, they just haven't officially admitted it.